we now live in a society where everyone seems robotic. With this I mean, we wake up, we go to school, or we go to work, we spend eight hours of our time doing tasks that we don't really want to do. Then we come home, spend a little bit of time with our family, go to sleep, and we do this all over again. This is repeated every single day. So what I want to know is what makes people happy. But specifically, what makes people happy doing the most mundane things. On to something better. This one. What's that? This is my, well, my iPad and iPad case. But what really made me happy was the iPad case. Mm -hmm. Which I got for a very dirt cheap price. Uh -huh. It does the job. It's small, compact, hold my tablet. I can read it on the train. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. My tablet is my entertainment. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Do you use it on your commute now? or do you, Yeah, I you use it on my commute. I read. I even, mm -hmm. you know, like say for example, at work, doing lunch. Mm -hmm. I take it out and I read. Or mm -hmm. I am um, on my way to work, from work. I read. That's my guilt. That's another guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. I love reading. I love traveling. And that's one way of me traveling. Getting lost in my books. No. This was the day that I saw this. Mm -hmm. um, I was having a rough day. Mm -hmm. People coming in with their attitudes. And people coming in with their being impatient. And it really irks me when someone comes in, you go for an interview, you're walking, not even an appointment, and you expect to be seen immediately. And I'm like, really? Mm. It really bothers me. <clears throat> seeing this, seeing these pictures just brought a smile to my face. I can't really say, I don't know if it's really happy, but it just brings a little humor in the whole midst of chaos right mm -hmm. there where you have someone who tried to cheat, but they were caught. Mm -hmm. So I just found it very hilarious and the way the teacher graded it. So that's it. That one is a kind of like a a studying lifeline. Mm -hmm. That right there is a Cuban coffee, and it was phenomenal, by the way. Mm -hmm. But caffeine, should I say, the coffee helps me to study um, when I need it, and also, you know, you know, just help me too when I need some type of energy. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, I love my coffee. So you're saying the coffee makes you happy, so that's why you oh, chose yes. it. Oh, yes. I, I have to have at least one cup of coffee every day. Mm -hmm. Like, after we're done, I'm going to have me a cup of coffee. Okay. Where is this? That picture is in Canada. Uh -huh. I chose this picture because it represents travel. Obviously, Canada, we're in, we're in Jersey, and um, I love traveling. Mm -hmm. um, seeing diff Experiencing different things, seeing... Different mm -hmm. people, different culture, totally different culture, but because mm -hmm. we're all, we all have the same common core background, mm -hmm. which which we strive to um, live our life by what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it makes, it, we all feel like one was family, and they just love upon us, and they just took care of us, you know. And oh, okay. Is your second family? Yes. Oh, okay. And so it's just, this picture represents your second family and also Traveling. traveling. Yes. Okay. Say that you have a lot of time to yourself, or no? That's like a double-edged sword in mm -hmm. a sense where if I look at my schedule with my classes and stuff, we'd say that I have a lot of times, but the, a lot of time, but that time is filled in with studying and doing other things that I need to get done. Mm -hmm. So would you say that since you were saying you your downtime, you're doing something else? Do you think that like these visual things? actually make things a little bit better 
Yes. So, um, I had you send me pictures um, about what made you happy, and did you take this through one day or over a span of time? Over a span of time. Okay, so this is when you were doing schoolwork, going from campus and stuff like that? Yes, my everyday life. So, it looks like it's a laptop. Yes. You're watching it, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I love my laptop, so my laptop makes me happy, mm -hmm. and every time I'm on my laptop, I'm usually on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I love Netflix and I love watching the house, so that made me happy. Mm -hmm. So would it be like a distraction from? It's like a escape, you know. Like I have class, I have work, so every once in a while I'll just go on Netflix and watch house, it made me laugh, yeah. and then go back to school work. Is actually a oh. decal on your wall. Okay. Yes. And it says, love isn't about finding someone you can live with, it's finding someone you can't live without. And it's literally my favorite quote ever. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't want to be with someone that can, like, you can live with and just like live your life with, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But like that person that when they're not in your life makes you like sad and miss them and mm -hmm. lonely. <laughs> All the sad feelings yeah. in the world. That, that's why like, I need this person in my life to be like happy and mm -hmm. complete. Yeah, and you see that every day because it's right there on the yeah, wall. So. I walk in and I see this. I sit down here, watch TV, it's right there. I eat, sleep, eat that quote. Cool. So, is there like any time when you're feeling down, or do you just get up and look at that? Every time I'm on the couch, I just see, like, it's just there. I just know, like, that's why I put this one here. Okay, so you put it there. Okay. I put it in there because I'm like, this is my favorite quote. So, I make sure it's like right there. Mm -hmm. So, that's the answer. You see it. Oh, okay, so even if you're feeling down and walking, you see that quote okay. right there. Okay. Um, the kitchen is my happiest place in life. I love to eat, I love mm -hmm. to cook. There's a flower, a vase of flower in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Last element in this picture is the bottle of alcohol. Yeah, I was looking at that. The bottles of alcohol, mm -hmm. and we're all 21, so we like to drink mm -hmm. wine mostly. And so the kitchen is just like food, alcohol, flour. Mm -hmm. Made me happy. So it's not just things to make you survive, but the other elements. Other elements that helps bring that happiness in me. <laughs> I can't even believe you. <laughs> Melissa's, Sharia's, and Nancy's days often begin before the break of dawn. They all revealed that necessary distractions came in the simplest forms and reminded them of the things that really matter. Laughter, joy, and solace. Yeah. After she and, barfed all over the place. And this is Jane. Jane, say hi to the camera. Hi. Look at her. Yeah. Uh oh, nothing more than empty sheets. Did you take this? What music is this? Lisa, because you're singing, I have to mute this entire video. Don't you do not have to worry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs>